end of February until um, April 2nd. They knew what my lead content was at. My first test came back February 25th at 104. My second test came back, it came back March 10th at 397. In April, beginning of April, we found out my child had lead poisoning. My request was, what are we gonna do? That's when the city came out and shut my water off and hooked me up to garden hoses to stop the exposure. I didn't say, hey, come hook this up for me like this. I don't want anybody to think that. This was not my solution. Goes around the house, through the backyards, over here. On Detroit Water, we were using a corrosive control, phosphate. The city is not using that control. And we have an old infrastructure. Pipes are eating themselves from the inside out, and everything that's built up into them is now coming through our homes because these things are not in place. For them to pay for my portion of the service line to be fixed, I have to sign this agreement saying that they're not responsible for any of the damages or my child's lead poisoning. It's not just my family, though. It's a whole community. You are literally in a fight for your life right now.